Hello students, in this video we study about orthogonal property of Bessel function. So first we will see the statement. If alpha and beta are two distinct roots of jn of x equal to 0, then we need to prove that integration from 0 to 1 x jn of alpha x into jn of beta x dx is 0 if alpha is not equal to beta. So we have to prove that integration from 0 to 1 x jn of alpha x jn of beta x dx is 0 when alpha is not equal to beta. Now proof. First we consider the differential equation x square u double dash plus x u dash plus alpha square x square minus n square multiplied by u is equal to 0 and x square v double dash plus x v dash plus beta square x square minus n square into v equal to 0. Call this as equation 1 and 2 respectively. Now take u equal to j n of alpha x and v equal to j n of beta x be the solution of equation 1 and 2 respectively. Dear students, we have seen in a previous note that that is this one x square d square y by dx square plus x dy by dx plus lambda square x square minus n square into y equal to 0. We have proved that j n of lambda x and j minus n of lambda x are the solutions. So we will take u equal to j n of alpha x plus j n of alpha x and v equal to j n of beta x be the solution of equation 1 and 2 respectively. Now I will multiply equation 1 by v by x and 2 by u by x equation 2 by u by x then we get x v u double dash plus that is equation 1 x v u double dash plus u dash v plus alpha square x u v minus n square u v by x is equal to 0 call this as 3 equation 2 implies x u v double dash plus v dash u plus beta square x u v minus n square u v by x is equal to 0 call this as 4 now 3 minus 4 gives you can observe x is common u double dash v minus v double dash u plus u dash v minus v dash u direct subtracting plus x u v is common here alpha square minus beta square the next term minus n square u v by x plus n square u v by x cancels so it is equal to zero we can write this as d by dx of this much of term as d by dx of x times u dash v minus v dash u plus second term as it is x u v into alpha square minus beta square is equal to 0. I have proved here these two are that is this one these two are same you can observe d by dx of x u dash v minus x v dash u if you apply product formula x u dash is constant derivative of v is v dash plus second function x v is constant derivative of u dash is u double dash plus u dash v is constant derivative of x is 1 minus again if you apply product formula for this one what you get is minus x v dash u dash minus x u v double dash minus v dash u so if you multiply and simplify what you get is x into v u double dash minus u v double dash plus v u dash minus v dash u so d by dx of x into u dash v minus v dash is v dash u is equivalent to this one now so what we get is d by dx of x u dash v minus v dash u is equal to taking this term to the other side what we get is beta square minus alpha square into x u v now integrate above equation that is this equation 
with respect to x between 0 to 1 between to 0 to 1 what we get is x times u dash v minus v dash u between 0 to 1 because derivative in differentiation and integration are reverse process so when you integrate this this differentiation cancels d by dx cancels so right hand side beta square minus alpha square is constant integration from 0 to 1 x u v dx call this as equation 5 now we have we have taken u equal to jn of alpha x and v equal to jn of beta x so u dash will be jn dash of alpha x derivative of alpha x with respect to x is alpha v equal to jn of beta x v dash is jn dash of beta x into b beta now we rewrite equation 5 x into substitute for these things u dash v minus v dash u so what we get is x into alpha jn dash of alpha x jn of beta x minus beta times jn dash of beta x jn of alpha x between 0 to 1 is equal to beta square minus alpha square integration 0 to 1 x jn of alpha x jn of beta x dx so when you integrate x between 0 to 1 what you get is 1 then rest of the things are where x is 1 alpha into jn dash of alpha jn of beta x is 1 minus beta into jn dash of beta jn of alpha is equal to beta square minus alpha square integration from 0 to 1 x jn of alpha x jn of beta x dx so this reduces to what I want is integration from 0 to 1 x jn of alpha x jn of beta x dx is equal to make the re necessary rearrangements taking beta square minus alpha square to the other side it means it is 1 by beta square minus alpha square alpha times jn dash alpha jn of beta minus beta times jn dash of beta jn of alpha so call this as equation 6 now when alpha is not equal to beta we know that alpha and beta are two distinct roots of jn of x equal to 0 then definitely jn of alpha is 0 and jn of beta is 0 since alpha is not equal to 0 alpha is not equal to beta sorry so in this equation 6 jn of beta is 0 as well as jn of alpha is 0 so equation 6 implies integration from 0 to 1 x jn of alpha x into jn of beta x dx what we get is 0 because jn of alpha and jn of beta is 0